putting spinach in our lasagna. Right. When the pandemic hit, Make like so many couples, away. Saul and Haley Adler's <laughs> dreams of a big wedding were dashed due to COVID. But instead of delaying it, they moved it up. So when their wedding day came around in December, they decided to do something together. They would make a difference. It was a very special way to um, to do something and to be able to give back. Haley Adler found a Facebook group talking about lasagna love. People can sign up to cook, donate, or request a dish of lasagna on their website. Then people are paired up by their location to receive or give a dish. Since December 6th, the couple has made 25 lasagnas this past year and delivered them to people in Harlem and Washington Heights, sometimes leaving it on doorsteps, sometimes in person. When you see them in person and you see that smile on their face, even if you don't see the smile on their face because they're wearing a mask, you see it through their eyes, it's the best feeling ever. A California mom started delivering homemade lasagnas to families in 2020. Now Lasagna Love has chapters in all 50 states, plus Australia, Canada, and Puerto Rico. A total of 20,000 volunteers. Sherry DeBrito is the regional director in New Jersey. New Jersey is a small state, but we've got a lot of people with a lot of big heart. DeBrito says in New Jersey there are over a thousand volunteers who are making lasagnas right now, giving to local food banks, first responders and hospitals. Lasagna Love was just such a wonderful community experience. That Carrie Nachmani, also a volunteer, her lasagna recipe was handed down from her mother, a Holocaust survivor. She says it just feels good to give back. Lasagna from the heart, what is better and more nurturing and giving than that? A gesture of kindness, giving a homemade meal, also feeding the soul. It's something adding to making the world a better place. If you can't make a lasagna, you can donate to Lasagna Love and help the cooks buy their ingredients. 